I think I brought this <laughs> book upon myself. It is an addictive escapist novel that sparkles with wit. If you need something done, give it to a busy person. <laughs> Maybe even buy a bonnet. I don't have a bonnet at this time. Somehow, April is upon us. Well, almost. <laughs> I'm filming this a little bit early. Luckily, or at least for me, happily, my April TBR is not too monstrous, which is really exciting for me because there's so many TBR projects, like secret TBR projects, vlog projects, whatever I call them, that I'm in the midst of and that I'm really behind on. I'd, li I'd like to have time to read books. I'd like to have time to write. I'd like to have time to mood read. So anyway, I am delighted with how few books I have on TBR, but of course not being busy means I probably won't do anything extra because they say if you need something done, give it to a busy person. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, yeah, April TBR. I have eight books that I'm for sure, for sure, gonna read. First book I actually ordered at the beginning of the month, like March 10th or 11th, and I only just today, I mean, I know you don't know what today is, but today is almost the end of March. I just got a shipping notification, so I am holding a placeholder for it right now, uh, and that is the book that my patrons have chosen for me to read and vlog for them, and that is Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. I believe I've only read one Philip K. Dick book before, and that was Man in the High Castle. I think I brought this <laughs> book upon myself because um, I was like wearing my patron's ears off talking about Blade Runner 2049 and also the original Blade Runner but mostly 2049. So they're like, great, you're so into Blade Runner, read Dwayne George's Dream of Electric Sheep. So yeah, <laughs> I've only myself to blame for this one. I don't know, I don't think it's terribly long, but I also, I don't have the physical book because they haven't sent it to me yet, but I don't think it's like super long. So at least if I hate it, it's not a terribly long book, <laughs> but I am interested to read it, if for no other reason than curiosity, because it did inspire Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049. Um, from reading Man in the High Castle, I don't know that Philip K. Dick is like the author for me, but that is only one book. Um, and I had seen the show or the first season of the show Man in the High Castle before reading it. So I was quite surprised by how different it was. And I'm pretty sure Androids is also quite different from the movie Blade Runner. So I'm prepared for that, but we'll see, which I don't really like. The original Blade Runner movie. So I won't be very, like, I won't necessarily be upset that it's different from that. It could always be worse though. So we'll see. <laughs> Next up, Blades and Bodice Rippers is back. And if you missed the memo, we're dressing up for all of our book club buddy read live shows. Um, and so on, in April, we will, it is Amanda's pick. So the live show will be on Amanda's channel and we will be dressed up for it as um, women of the Regency for Splendid by Julia Quinn. Um, this year we're kind of doing what we've pseudo named OG 2023, where we're trying to pick kind of like genre progenitors, genre classics. Uh, that's kind of what I always do when I pick mine, but the ladies are also doing that. So this is an older romance novel. So as I say, we'll be dressed as, as Regency. Well, gentlemen as well, I suppose. I don't actually know what the <laughs> what my co-host will be wearing. I can tell you that I will be dressed as a Regency lady and I fully intend to like do an updo and curl and, and do the things. Maybe even buy a bonnet. I don't have a bonnet at this time, but I might get a bonnet. Might be difficult to wear a bonnet during a live show. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, we will be reading Splendid and hopefully I don't hate it, but it's a romance novel, so. We'll see. Next, we are chugging along on the Book of the New Sun read along that I'm doing on my Patreon. And we are at the fourth and final book for the like Book of the New Sun, although we are reading the fifth book, which is Earth of the New Sun, which is kind of like an extra also part of it. But like the Book of the New Sun is like these four. So we will pseudo be done when we finish Citadel of the Autark in April. And I'm so looking forward to it. It has been such a blast chatting about these books with my patrons. There's just so much to talk about. So I'll be kind of, I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do with myself when we're done. But we've got Citadel of the Autark in April and then in May, Earth of the New Sun. And then and then our, our lives will be changed forever. <laughs> but I am excited. Uh, next is one of my two Book of the Month Club books. Um, this I did as my add-on and full disclosure, I literally just bought this for the cover because I just really, really like this cover. And then after I ordered it, I started to see a bunch of buzz about this book. And I was like, oh, I guess I chose well, or at least Maybe not well, because I often don't like popular books, but I didn't know, I hadn't heard any buzz about it, never heard of this before in my life when I picked it. So I was like, oh, I guess it's like a happening book. Anyway, the book in question is Pineapple Street by Jenny Jackson. My understanding is that it is a darkly humorous take on kind of like the upper crust of New York. Um, that's kind of all I know about it, but that's my understanding is that it's kind of just like a people story, but it's kind of like, it's not like a comedy, but it's kind of poking fun a bit at the like more, wealthy of like Brooklyn, uh, old money Stockton family, uh, Brooklyn Heights. It is an addictive escapist novel that sparkles with wit. The miles between the haves and the have nots, 
The Insanity of First Love. Well, we'll see about we'll see about that. But anyway, it's not very long. People are talking about it. I really like the cover, so for that reason, I really hope I like it. But I always hope I'm gonna like the books that I pick up and. It's like 50-50. <laughs> we'll find out. Next is my other book of the month club book, which was my book of the month. But also, this is the book that my patrons and I are going to buddy read, like as our official buddy read. Book of the New Sun is just extra. So our official, like that we all voted on, or they all voted on, or was voted on to read together and discuss on my Patreon, is The Adventures of Amina El Serafi by Shannon Chakraborty. I am one of those rare people that didn't like City of Brass. I didn't hate City of Brass at all. I just thought it was pretty mid, like, and I didn't continue in the series. But people love Chakraborty. I believe this is the first thing that she's written since finishing that uh, Devabot, I think the City of Brass trilogy is called. This is fantasy again, just like City of Brass was. Um, I believe it's like a high seas adventure. I don't really know too much about it except that it's fantasy. I believe it has a female protagonist and that it's written by the author of the Devabot trilogy. And it's getting a lot of buzz for that reason. So I'm certainly curious to read it. We'll see how I do with it. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't hate City of Brass. And if she's like progressed as a writer, perhaps this will be more my cup of tea, but, but we shall see. Next, we are continuing the Witcher read along on chapter three podcast. Um, so the last Tuesday of April, we'll, we'll be chatting live on chapter three podcast about Blood of Elves, which is like the first book in like the Witcher saga. We read the first two like short story bind up prequel type things. This is like officially like book one of like the Witcher story where it starts properly. So we're not skipping once we're reading this straight through until Lady of the Lake, then we'll take a break and then we'll read Season of Storms. But yeah, I, I've only read this once and I remember really liking the first few books in the Witcher series. It's it kind of fizzled for me towards the end, but this was a star strong start, I recall. So I'm very much looking forward to rereading it and to discussing it with Bethany and you all when you come and join us for the chat, which you will, of course. Likewise, we are continuing the Red Rising read along, myself, Alex, and Angela, and we will be reading Morning Star in April, which is the third and final book in the Red Rising trilogy. And then we begin the rest of the Red Rising saga. And I, yeah, this will be my third time reading it. I think third time. <laughs> uh, I've been loving rereading these books. I'm a huge fan of Red Rising, so that's not surprising. Um, and it's been a ton of fun chatting about it with Alex and Angela and with everybody who comes to our live chats to chat with us. We will have another giveaway um, for this book as well. So if you're interested in free stuff, you know, come and join us for that reason alone. And yeah, I'm, I'm super, super pumped. We haven't, we don't have the date yet for the live show, but it'll be towards the end of April, um, possibly beginning of May if need be. And like I said, it'll be on Angela's channel. And yeah, come and join us. And if you're behind, just, just catch up. Read Red Rising, Golden Sun, and Morning Star, and then you can come join us. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm continuing my year of gaming with American Gods, which I did actually read last year, almost around the same time. No, I think it was in January. Was it January? I think it might have been January. Anyway, it's been just over a year since I last read American Gods. And yeah, I'm looking forward to rereading it. Also, I don't know if it existed before and I didn't know about it or if it's new, but there is a new different audiobook version with a full cast. So I will almost 100% be re reading it that way. Um, I didn't really like the original audiobook that we had for it. It's one of the few that Neil Gaiman does not read. Um, and the narrator was like fine, but I don't really like it. So like, I've mainly just like read it physically when I've read it, so I don't like the audio. But this new audio I'm quite excited about. We'll see. Maybe maybe I won't like it either, but I've got it, so we'll give it a go. Um, I haven't decided what type of video I'll do for this. Um, I haven't posted it yet, because I'm not done yet, but uh, for Smoke and Mirrors I'm doing a vlog. So we'll see how you guys like that, and maybe we'll do a vlog for American Gods. Or not. I don't know. I haven't decided. You let me know what you want. <laughs> and those are all the books that I'm for sure, for sure gonna read in April. Hopefully I'll read others as well, but... And it's all TBD. But anyway, let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below about the books that I'm reading. Are you reading them as well? Will you never ever read the books that I'm reading? Have you already read them? Whatever you want to let me know. I post videos on Saturdays. Other random times as well, but only Saturdays. So like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.